What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hopping on to the ranked double ladder with this Hydreigon and Sylveon team. I haven't used a Hydreigon and Sylveon team since like way back when Pokemon Sword and Shield first came out and I started playing online competitive. So it's pretty cool we were able to pick up a team just like this and get back into it. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support. Everybody who likes up the videos, everyone who is subscribed to the channel comments or just views them like seriously it goes a long way thank you guys so much but rocking out on this team in its top spot top left corner we're gonna start off with Kilfairy over here you guys already know about this support mod with the friend guard the evo light follow me protect helping hand and this one has sing on it i haven't really seen any of them with sing on it so hopefully we can uh pull off some sleeps and get rolling with that we also got Life Orb Terrakion Justified over here with no beat up on the team. So we're going to see how that works out. This thing has a Life Orb, like I said, with Protect, Rock Slide for Stab, Close Combat for Stab, and EQ for Coverage. Behind my face cam, don't get mad at me. I didn't move my face cam, guys. I know you guys, uh, I read all the comments and all that about the face cam. But I just don't think I really want to move it or take it away. You guys can kind of obviously see what's behind it. If not, like... I don't know. It's kind of pretty straightforward, but we got Sylveon right here, and I'm actually hyped for Sylveon considering uh, I haven't used it in a while, and this one has a uh, Choice Scarf on it. Not Scarf. Choice Specs over here, so we got Spec into one move, and we'll get that big special attack boost with it. This thing has Hyper Voice, Hyper Beam, Yawn, and Mystical Fire. Right next to it, we got Azumarill right here, Water and Fairy typing with huge power, Choice Band. This thing's an absolute beast with that huge power ability. It doubles its attack stat, and we have that Choice Band plus on it as well. We have Aqua Jet for Stab, Liquidation for Stab, play rough for stab as well and super power for big old coverage move in the bottom left corner we got hydrogon over here with that assault vest we can soak up a little bit more hits levitate so we can't get hit by ground moves with draco meteor and dark pulse for stab flash cannon and ep earth power for uh coverage moves and then in the final spot again i've been saying this all the time like town flame has been taken over since the bands it is a great tailwind pokemon especially with that gale wings ability right here this thing has the focus ash and then normal move set with the taunt tailwind overheat and brave bird guys if you want to use this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's try to hop onto that rank double ladder and get some wins with this squad Back to the face cam situation, guys. I read all your guys' comments and I try to respond as many as I can, whether it's in a couple days or right away. But I do read you guys' comments where it's like, yo, can you move the face cam and all that? But for right now, I really don't see another spot for the face cam and i know you guys are saying like yo just make it disappear and then come back later but i kind of just like having my face cam up especially in the intro but if you guys do have like more reasoning so why it should be moved just definitely let me know in the comment section down below i'll read them and comment back but first battle coming at you guys we're going up against a lapras team these guys called fable ferrothorn vaporeon grimmsnarl and milotic right here i think it's safe to lead into uh sylveon it's safe to lead into Sylveon. I don't think you're going to lead your Ferrothorn. And if you do, I could just Mystical Fire it. Or I could just go into Talonflame, Tailwind, and then Overheat. That's fine. So we're going to go Tailwind. Or not Tailwind. We're going to go Talonflame and uh, Sylveon for a lead. And then bring in Terrakion for sure. Because I can counter the Lapras up pretty big right there. And then... Bum, 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 final spot, Hydreigon. We got all that coverage. We have all that coverage with Hydreigon. Or I could totally go into Azumarill. But now nah, we're going to go Hydreigon. So I don't want to go with uh, two choice Pokemon. I think that's a bad idea. I think that's a real bad idea. So we're going to go Hydreigon here, show him off a little bit here as well, and then get rolling from here. But I don't think he's a... What's going to be our biggest weakness here? I mean, he's probably going to lead Vaporeon or Milotic. He's got to lead a water typing, you know? Which I'm hoping it's going to be the uh, Lapras. But we are Scarf, or not Scarf, we are Sash. So I can definitely get off a Tailwind and then roll into a different move. Brave Bird or Overheat, something along those lines. Because I don't think he has a fake out user as well. Oh, he does have Grimmsnarl. But then my Sylveon just counters that up and probably can take it out with more Hyper Blue. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens here. See what you got, kid. Gonna go Grimmsnarl. He's gonna go Clefable and Milo. Okay, I'm kind of fine with that. I'm, I'm chilling with that. I'm chilling with that. I'll be cool with it. I'm fine with that. He might put me to sleep, something along those lines, but definitely going to that Tailwind and then Hyper Voice up, right? Yeah, we're gonna uh, spec into that uh, Hyper Voice. And then do I taunt the Milo to turn one? We already got the speed. I kind of want to taunt this thing. Or are you just gonna go for a follow me? Like, what are you gonna do? That's my question. We outspeed you either way. But I think I just taunt the Milotic here. Because I don't want to coil in uh, going for Hypnosis. I don't want to be in uh, all that fancy with it. We'll see what happens here. He's just going to Dynamax. Okay, so uh, never mind. Milotic's going to get that Dynamax. And he... Hmm. Kind of tough. Should have went for Tailwind. That should have been the play. Should have been the play call. Milotic gets the Dynamax. Man! Come on! Get out my face! That's tough news. That's tough news. But I think we should be able to still get off that tailwind. Because you're not going to double up in the me, are you? 
Not a chance, not a chance. Unless you definitely know where Scarf. Follow me comes out. Okay, that's fine. At least we taunt this thing. That's even better. That's better than taunting that. So, here comes my taunt. Get over here, boy. We'll taunt the Clefable. No, for sure, that is way better. The geyser comes out. I'm fine with that. I can Tailwind uh, next turn. This seems rather not that fast. Do I even need a Tailwind? I'm trying to think. It seems rather slow. Do I even need a Tailwind? Here goes our Focus Sash. We survived that hit. And the rain is coming out here. The rain is playing. The rain is coming to play. And here comes Hyper Voice. The little spec damage. And that's big old damage over on the Fable side. And what is that thing doing? Oh, it's the leftovers. I was going to say, did we trigger like some magical weakness policy somehow? <laughs> Uh, let me see his team real quick. Um, hmm. I think we just Tailwind just in case. Like, my team's fast. My team is fast, but I'm going to set up the Tailwind uh, just in case. Definitely drop another Hyper Voice. Take out the Clefable. Um, yeah, just set up the Tailwind. Say bye-bye to Talonflame. I mean, unless you go after... You might go after Sylveon, no lie. Which I'd be totally fine with. The Sylveon's going to definitely be able to outspeed. Fable should be gone here unless he protects her swaps. There's no way you can you cannot protect the DS tall. We have tall enough on it, so we're chilling here. We're looking pretty good. So Fable can go down. We're gonna get rid of Sportmon. Milotic is using his Dynamax. I'm kind of fine with it. If I can get like rid of this Milotic and all that, have my Tailwind uh what's called come out here. My Tailwind uh Terrakion. We'd be looking in a pretty good spot for battle number one. Every voice pops. See you later, Fable. Get out of my face. Choice specs doing work. Doing work right here. Even though I would like my Sylveon not to be choice spec, I just like uh, it's fine right now. It's doing work. Going for a quick, we should be able to eat that. Something I should say that's tasty little snack there. Yeah, real tasty. Real, real tasty right there. Thank you for the snack. Dude, this is why I love Sylveon. Sylveon is really bulky too. It's really bulky, and you wouldn't guess it. It's a very special defense for bulk. Which I love, which I love. It's just like a little uh what is Eevee? A cat? No, it's not a cat. I don't even know. It's an Eevee, right? <laughs> it's its own thing. Things looking good. It goes into Grimstar. Oh my god, yo, Grimstar is gonna die. Grimstar, what are you doing? You're gonna fake me out, I know that. But I'm still dropping Hyper Voice. You won't fake me out, Grimstar. And I'm gonna kill myself here. I'm gonna kill myself with the Brave Bird. Now, who do I go after? I'm gonna go after Milotic. I'm gonna go after Milotic. Unless you fake out my, uh... My Talonflame, which I would love. I would absolutely love. Actually, yeah, Grimstar should be down here to the Hyper Voice. Respect and all that. But fake out Sky Combiner. I know, he sets up a Lich King, so he might actually be able to survive this. Okay. I'm cool with that. Go ahead, Hyper Voice. Still kill. Maybe we should've doubled up into that. But... Raper comes out here. Why didn't Max quickly for a special defense boost? I think Geyser would have been way better. Hyper Voice comes out. Take out that Grimstar, please. Oh my god, yo. Light Screen helping him out. Keeping him alive, yo. Chill on me. Blake's coming out. Alright, I think we're sitting really, really well here. We'll get Therakion out here. Dynamax him. Um, and then other than that, we should be fine. We're gonna get that special defense boost. Luckily, we have physical attacking Therakion. I was gonna bring out the Hydreigon, but nah, yo. Special defense plus two with a Light Screen. Tough move. That's a tough move. I could change up the weather, and I could roll out. Oh, we're going to get after. We're going to get after. Another hyper voice, and a... Uh, he's going to reflect, though. I know that for a fact. But still, Milotic's dead. Milotic is definitely dead. Do I even Dynamax here? That's the real question. I don't even think I Dynamax yet. I don't even think we need to, because I can just drop a Rock Slide him. Nah, we're going to Dynamax. We're going to play it real safe. We'll Dynamax, go for the Max Rock Ball, take out the Milotic. And change up the weather as well. I don't want him coming in with Big Corian doing work. But, yo, first battle looking real good for your boy. Coming out strong. Sylveon clutching it up, doing work. I think he rushed the uh, the Dynamax. I, I didn't think there was a need to Dynamax that Milotic. Really that early with no boost, no competitive popping or anything. Maybe he thought I was going to do something to trigger the competitive, but no. We didn't do anything. We did not do anything. Like, usually, I will, if I'm playing Milotic, I won't Dynamax it unless I have to. Or, like, I, someone triggers competitive, and I'm just like, okay, we can roll out and just sweep this match with this competitive Milotic. But Sylveon's paralyzed. We're gonna drop a Rock Fall here. Sylveon, you better not be paralyzed, and you better be able to uh, take out this Grimstar. I ain't dealing with it. Milotic gone. Weather in our favor. Let's go. Let's get it. Jeans looking good. Jeans looking spiffy for the online game of community, baby. For you guys. But, yo, I'm so excited for Friday, uh, September 18th, I think it is. Yeah. Friday, September 18th with uh, Mario 3D All-Stars, man. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fire. It's going to be so much fun. Cannot wait to do a playthrough on all three of those games. So uh, make sure you guys check it out. Like up those videos when they do go live and all that. Because I'm going to be having a blast. Hopefully you guys do enjoy them as well. But let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys going to be picking up uh, 3D All-Stars? I'd love to know. And which game are you guys going to play first? 64 Galaxy 
and or sunshine because i'm gonna be playing i think 64 first i think not a playthrough full playthrough but like i'm gonna be uploading uh galaxy and uh 64 like same day we're gonna do part one on both of them on friday but we're gonna do those playthroughs first and then do sunshine but definitely uh part one i'm gonna be recording uh, 64 first get right into the old game and then roll out from there but what is this guy gonna do what are you doing He's quitting. There you go. He turned off his switch. Thank you very much for the victory. <laughs> Our last opponent did the quick little home button XA combo. He hit the home button, hit the X, and then hit the A button to cancel out and delete his game. Not delete his game, it just closes the software out. But he did that. He left that battle. We're going into our second battle. Trying to get a win streak rolling. This guy's a Porygon Z team. Porygon Z is an absolute monster. Um, do I get out uh Terrakion as a lead? Do I go Terrakion? I think I go Terrakion. Terrakion Talonflame? Might go same squad here. Or maybe not Sylveon. And go Azumarill. Hmm. Hmm. What do I really want to go here? What does Jeans really want to do? Definitely Hydreigon. Get Hydreigon rolling out here. And then it's either Sylveon or Azumarill. Who do I want? Hmm. Hmm. We do have Aqua Jet with that. That takes out the Town Flame. And, uh. But we gotta remember, we're gonna be choice. And I, th I feel like he's gotta bring the Rotom and the, the Draco. Bruh, we're gonna go Sylveon. We're gonna go same squad. I feel like same squad just rocks out here. We didn't get a chance to show off the Hydreigon in the last battle. Kind of just Sylveon and Talonflame kind of running everything, and then Hydreigon or Terrakion coming in here and uh, finishing it off. But as much as I want to go with Zoomerology, just Sylveon covers way more. This is what the Hyper Voice will do work on most of these guys. And then it uh, kind of cancels out the, uh, the what's it called the Draco Fish. Because Draco Fish, you guys already know, that thing is just absolute beast with the fishes, man. And do mad damage. But let's get it. Going for that win streak. Going up against Lobo over here. What's good, Lobo? Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, Lobo. You're going up against the meanest, the best Pokemon player on the planet. You don't want the smoke. He goes Porygon Z, Cliff Berry. Porygon Z is going to get spazzed and all that good stuff. And we're going to get leading with that Terrakion. With the Ron of Terrakions. So I'm a Dynamax Terrakion. He, he doesn't want to play around me. We Dynamaxing, and we're going in with that Max Rock Ball. Actually, we cannot, because if you go for follow me. I'm going to go in with that Max Rock Ball, and I'm going to get after it. And I'm going to get after it. Uh, do I set up a Tailwind? Do I really need a Tailwind? I see we just taunt the Fable. I see we just taunt the Fable. I don't think we need the, uh, the Tailwind. Not yet. Not yet. So we're going to taunt the Fable here. We getting after it. We Dynamaxing. We going for kills. I ain't dealing with the Porygon and the Adaptability. You guys already know that thing hits like an absolute truck, but luckily it's gonna be not very effective when he uses it, or if he uses it on my uh, racket. So getting started early, getting off with the Dynamax. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna go for a follow me or something, or are you Dynamax as well? He's gonna Dynamax as well. That's why I said we didn't need a Tailwind. I knew we outsped him anyway. And if I can just taunt this little uh, Clefairy and then maybe set up the Tailwind next turn, we could be thriving. If I taunt this thing, then I can just start rocking out with Max Apples, boosting my attack stats, and all that. Come on, buddy. What you want? What you want? Yeah, make a move. Follow me? Yeah, obviously. Saw it all that. Saw it coming from my way. We're gonna taunt this thing up. We're gonna say, yo, follow me. That ain't cool, man. You're not allowed to use that anymore. Give it to me. Taunted that boy up. He's got the friend guard on it as well. And here comes the Max Rock Ball. This is exactly why I didn't go for the Max Knuckle. And then we get a, like a special defense boost for rock typing Pokemon, which is pretty, which is pretty cool. Which is pretty cool. I think I think that's a thing. And then Talonflame can just clean up this uh the fairy. Here comes the Max Lightning. Oh yo, chill on me. Talonflame's actually dead now. Chill on me. Chill on me. Talonflame's dead. We killed Talonflame. Talonflame's gonna go down to the Buffets. That's totally fine. Okay. I mean, I'm cool with it. Again, I, don't, I didn't think we really needed our. Uh, I don't think we really needed the what's it called? The tailwind too too much, considering our Pokemon are pretty pretty fast. Pretty speedy. But they got the electric terrain. Um hmm. they go right into Sylveon. They go right into Sylveon and just start choicing. That, that could be a thing. Let me see the speeds real quick. I said we save uh speed 105. Speed 165. Hmm. Hmm. Now let's get Sylveon out here. I could go Hydreigon. Mm. 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 Now we're gonna go Sylveon. We're gonna go Sylveon right here. I'm gonna go into a Hyper Voice and a Max Knuckle and get after it. This Hyper Voice should be able to take out the Clefairy, no problem. And then... Actually, I don't think... We might not be able to get all... That Porygon might be faster than my, uh... 
Am I what's it going? Am I Sylveon? I think it is. And that would be tough if the, if the Porygon does take me out with a max strike. Which it probably would if it does get that off with a life orb damage, adaptability times two. Like bruh. Like get out my face. Hopefully Tracking can do some big damage. I don't think it will take out because Max Knuckle Max Knuckle's good, but it gives you the attack boost and it doesn't do as much damage as you want it to. It's only like base 80. Rather than the 130, like that 50 plus base damage is huge. It's huge. Dude, Porygon, I think Porygon has been uh, big ever since uh, bans. He's just been awesome all over the meta. It's like Porygon Z teams is a thing now. <laughs> Especially with the Clefairy, because you just kind of follow me and you, uh, you take most of this out. Then you roll off from there. But Max Up comes out. Big damage, take him out. Let's go with Terrakia. Let's go. Let's get it. Big dog coming in. It's a crit, baby. Ooh I told you. I told you in the beginning. I said, let me tell you something. You messing with the best Pokemon player on this planet on this planet i'm coming in here i'm running things i'm picking up them w's right here for the online gaming community it is all for you guys tip bounce gonna come in here and say yo check this out hype voice coming at you bang see you later we got this one reeling up right now we're looking real good we're looking real spiffy your boys got this one <laughs> let's go let's go big time crit coming in there uh for all my uh, smart pokey guys let me know if that would have killed in the comment section down below without a crit i don't think it would have but I know a lot of people, like, they know the calcs and all that stuff. They're just like, okay, we got this. Well, let's see. Bro, Tom comes out here. Oh, I'm totally fine by that. I'm totally fine by that. Chandelure comes out here. Oh, I'm totally fine by that. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Who's getting rocked on? Who's getting dropped? Big rock. As much as I want to go Chandelure, I think Bro, Tom poses a bigger threat. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do that. Like Rotom just poses such a bigger threat there. Rotom, if Rotom protects that little buttery biscuit, no way he protects it. I mean, I'd be fine with it. Rock Ball comes out. Yes, sir. Life orb damage coming in here. And stab. Nope. Get him out. Get him going. See you later, kid. You ain't messing with me. You ain't messing with me today. I'm a long time Sylveon Hydreigon team player. I used to play it like back in like season one, two, and three. And I would love it. Like this is kind of like the teams that I learned how to play Pokemon with. I remember it was a Rotom Heat, Sylveon, Hydreigon team. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I ran things. I didn't ran things. Well, the best of, as I could, I, I did it. <laughs> it's like this is the first real Pokemon game that I started getting into competitive and playing like a little bit serious. Like the other games I would play, but I didn't know like all like like how much there is to know about Pokemon. Like there is so much, and you don't even know like the items, the abilities, all the stats. Like it's insane. It's insane how much you do need to know. The Rock Side's gonna come out here, and we're gonna finish off this battle and go two and zero so far. And we're gonna hop to our third and final battle. Try to get that perfect record, yo. We are all in today. We are all in feeling good, looking good too. But let's get it, guys. Third and final battle, looking for that perfect record. This guy has like a Trick Room team right here, Hatterene, and a. Uh, and Comfy could set the trick room. I cannot talk to Hatterene. I remember somebody commented in the uh, last uh, episode that you cannot uh, taunt Hatterene's because of the magic bounce ability. So thank you so much for leaving that comment. I'll make sure to, uh, to use it to my advantage. But first battle, uh, do I go Talonflame? I don't know if I go Talonflame. Do I go Talonflame? I definitely got to go Sylveon. Like, Sylveon just rocks. Not too good. Um, hmm. hmm. Yes, no, no, he does have follow me Pokemon. I'm going to go Sylveon. And Terrakion? Hmm. 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 And withdraw. Now, you know, let's go. I don't know who I want to go. Let's go with. I gotta pick a team like ASAP. Let's go Sylveon, uh, Talonflame. No, let's, let's not go Talonflame this game. Let's go Terrakion as a lead. Hydreigon and Azumarill. We're going to double up with the choice Pokemon. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. But he might go follow me and get the Trick Room on, which is tough. Which is tough. But I just don't feel like a Talonflame is going to be needed, especially if he goes for the Trick Room. There's no need for the Tailwind. And if he's going to go for the uh, the Trick Room, he's going to go for a follow me or uh, just go in with the Hatterene. So the Taunt won't do anything. The Taunt will not do anything. So no need for them. Let's get it. He's going to go in with the Comfy. There we go. These two. These two Buttery Biscuits right here. Um, hmm. Hyper Voice can do some work here. And a Rock Slide. Hyper Voice and Rock Slide? Ooh, yeah, we getting after it. We getting after it. You don't want the smoke. Hyper Voice and Rock Slide for the KO on the Hatterene. Watch this. This is how it's done, guys. This is how it's done. This one's for you guys. 
but go for the follow me. I love the green ears on the shiny. Yeah, go for the follow me. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're going to be so mad when both these connect. You're going to be so mad when both these connect. There's the rock slide. Yes, sir. Give me the flinch. Hopefully this KOs. Hopefully this KOs. If not, we got to get the flinch. Come on. KO it. KO it. Get out of here. Oh, my God. Yo, so close. Did we get the flinch on the Hatterene? Oh, my God. We did. We did. Get him out of here. This game's too easy. This game is way too easy. I kid you not. I am the best Pokemon player on the planet. <laughs> uh, do I swap in the Zoom Get a free swap. And keep tracking on for the back. Let's get Hydreigon up in here. Because it's going to be a double kill here. I'm going to get Hydreigon up in here. Try to show him off. Get a free swap. Battle was canceled. There you guys go. That was for you guys. Let's get it absolutely dominated in today's video. Don't sleep on me, guys. We just went 3-0, absolutely dominated in today's video. I know I got a lucky flinch at the end, but I was just having fun and all that good stuff. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.